Assalamu alaikum. My brothers and sisters, we have a month remaining for the month of Ramadan. Remember one thing, in order to maximize the benefit from the month of Ramadan, we need to start seeking the forgiveness of Allah from now, myself and yourselves included, subhanallah. My brothers and sisters, we seek the forgiveness of Allah, we mend our ways, we mend our habits, we begin to inculcate within us the love of obedience, the prayer that is going to be multiplied in the month of Ramadan, we should commence with giving it the importance it deserves. Also the fasting, we should try and observe fasts during this particular month following the sunnah of the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. So to fast on a Monday and a Thursday and to fast the 13th, 14th and 15th days of the lunar calendar, something that is sunnah, you earn a great reward for that. To be able to increase your recitation of the Quran is something important, even if it is just a verse a day. And that's a challenge we need to set for ourselves. Just a verse a day. Are you going to do it for the pleasure of Allah? In the run up to the month of mercy, start getting, start getting prepared for that beautiful month of mercy. In, in the run up to the month of uh, the Quran, start getting prepared with your relationship with the Quran. In the month of prayer that is coming up, the run up to it, we should also make sure we give the compulsory prayers the due that it's owed. May Allah Almighty grant us all goodness and make us from among those who witnessed the beautiful month of Ramadan already forgiven because some of us may not even witness the month. My brothers, my sisters, we have a gift of Allah at our doorstep. Allahumma balighna Ramadan. Oh Allah, grant us the acceptance to witness in the most beautiful way the month of Ramadan. Ameen.